It's a long honored tradition to fly flags at veterans' grave sites, of course, but one man says that he was unfairly denied that right at his father's grave in Vancouver. And the owners of Evergreen Memorial Cemetery allow flags to be flown at graves during Veterans and Memorial Day weekends, but they do have a rule against it other times of the year. Tim Becker looked into this story. He joined us live with more. Tim, I understand you were able to get the situation ironed out? Yeah, I think we got it all squared away and ironed out indeed. Now, someone from the Vancouver VFW, by the way, first told us about this story. And Evergreen Memorial does have a rule about no flag flying most of the year. Thing is, they made a kind-hearted exception for one family, and that didn't go over too well with another person who wanted to be able to do the same thing. Flags fly, honoring fallen soldiers. We were up there earlier today at Veterans Day, took Andrew some flowers. It happens here at Evergreen Memorial every Veterans Day and Memorial Day weekend. They also allow it from December to March when they don't mow. But they made an exception for the Shields family. It's difficult to say no to my mom. Because she, she, uh, she is persistent and she worked at it. John Shields' son, Andrew, was killed in Afghanistan in 2008. Since then, John's mother has religiously tended to her grandson's grave. She knew it was important that, uh, that to me that there was a flag uh, always there with Andrew. Uh, she just lives a few blocks away. So, you know, she would go up there every evening, every day. Uh, she would go move the. She even knew when the uh, when the mowing schedule was. So the staff at Evergreen let it continue. They tell us as part of the grieving process. But this frequent visitor to the cemetery, who didn't want to comment on camera, took exception. He visits his father's grave almost every week. He says, but bound by the rules, can't fly a flag most of the year. And John Shields understands. There's no reason that, that he shouldn't be able to. Um, you know, if that's if that's what he wished to do and, uh, for his father. Evergreen Memorial. Memorial now tells us they're making a change and will reevaluate the exception they made in the Shields case and won't grant any more in the future. If you're going to make an exception for somebody, you need to make the exception for everybody. Okay, we looked into the rules about allowing flags to be flown or not, and according to the Washington State Department of Licensing, which oversees funeral homes and cemeteries, well, those particular institutions are allowed to uh, create their own rules for operation. So they tell us you should always check with management at the particular funeral home or cemetery before planting uh, or setting flowers, wreaths, or even flags on gravesites. Reporting live in Vancouver, Tim Becker, Coin Six News. Tim, interesting. Thank you.